The groundbreaking group of Orthodox female paramedics known as Ezras Nashim has been serving the Borough Park community for eight years. And when the neighborhood became an epicenter for the coronavirus, the women say not only did they hit the streets to respond to emergency calls. So I had to put on all the PPE gear, everything from goggles that took face masks, you know, to the N95 respirators to the, you know, to the cave aprons that were protective gear. It just meant going in completely geared up. They also enhanced their homebound program for patients, teaching family members how to treat their loved ones at home. A lot of the calls were oxygen related to like low levels of oxygen. They didn't know should they go to the hospital. The emergency response team says they saved dozens of people from going to the hospital during the pandemic by teaching family members how to monitor a patient's oxygen levels and how to administer oxygen when necessary. How are we someone who says, well, I was never trained. I don't know. And I would say, listen to me. You can do this. You can do this. And I'll walk you through the steps. Sometimes that instruction came over the phone, over video, or at the group's headquarters where they loaned out medical equipment for families who didn't have access. We were able to help them as in having their child or spouse come to our headquarters and we would train them. Ezra's Nashim is a Hebrew term, which means assisting women. This group was formed for that purpose, to help provide medical services for Orthodox women who don't feel comfortable being treated for religious reasons by male EMTs. But there's been pushback from some members of the Orthodox Jewish community because the all-male Hatzola volunteer service has historically been responding to medical emergencies here. New York One was there when Ezra's Nashim applied for their ambulance license late last year. They were denied. And so they continue to use their own cars to do their work. They filed an appeal and vowed to fight on, just like they're doing during the pandemic. One member who was going like on a lot of calls, and she actually did get really, really sick for like two weeks. But once she got better, she was back on the scene. Hopefully soon with an ambulance. The appeal decision is expected later this month. In Brooklyn, Janine Ramirez, New York One.